another thing that we need to remember with the Inspire and the interactive whiteboards is that this screen is always white. Now, it doesn't take much to change that. And if you go over here to the toolbar, which looks all of the same on all of our different uh, computers because of the way we did it, we will get to customizing this later so it is better fit for the way you use the board. But for now, um, everybody's is the same, and that was based on feedback from last year. Uh, one of the simplest ways to make this more interactive, more appealing for the students, is to add color. What I'm going to do is go to the paint can here, um, otherwise known as the fill tool. If I take the paint can and I choose the orange color and I click the board, I just change the entire background orange. Now what you're going to do is find out the colors that you like to use. If you haven't noticed, I prefer grays a lot. Um, I actually also use orange a lot with blue and white on top of it. It seems to work pretty well. And so that is a very simple way for you to change color. You can also use the paint can to change different letters, different colors. So if I take the paint can or the fill tool and click it on the E, it changes to that color. So very quickly, you can begin to spice up your flip charts by um, making them different colors. Now I'm just going to use this as a quick example to review one of the pen tools and then to pair it with the fill tool. So for instance, I am going to select the uh, select tool, which is otherwise known as the mouse cursor or the marquee select tool. And I'm just going to hold the pen here, and I am going to push it to the board, push the pen nib to the board, and hold it. And then I'm going to drag out and release. So now all of these letters that I've written on the board with the pen tool are selected. And if I just go up here to the colors, my different co color choices, I can select the blue, and it will actually change it blue. Now I can actually make that bigger or make that smaller uh, depending. Now what you'll also notice here is that all of these pen strokes are actually separate and you can move them separately. This can be an advantage and disadvantage at the board. You'll find the reasons where it uh, becomes um, annoying or helpful. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to group these all together real quick and if you look up here in the menus, uh, this one right here is grouped. This will be covered again and again, but I'm just going to throw it out there because some of you will find that that's very helpful. Now I don't have to select it before I move it. I can just select it and move any part of it because it is completely grouped together.